Welcome to Sunstar Games, the place to find new strategy games, and today we're going to play Cardnarok Raid with Gods. The game is content early access and it's a roguelike deck builder, and it has two unique things in it. First of all, it has a really cool adventure map on top of the typical map that you find in roguelike deck builders, and secondly, it has a special type of a card that differs depending on who character plays it, which doesn't sound that cool, but actually is quite cool once you see it. Right, so let's get into the story. This world had been threatened by a destructible ancient evil, mortal. Thou shall seek the help of deities from other dimensions to aid thee. The state of the world will be shown on this artifact, when it fully becometh dark, the ancient evil shall befall upon this world. If thou shalt lose, this world will end and drift into oblivion. Fight, mortal! Uh, kind of went by a bit too fast. Sorry about that. All right, so this is the super cool adventure map. Okay, so uh, Yeah, yeah, we don't need to talk. I can do it myself. Tutorial be quiet. Okay So the way this works is that you have these kind of dice and you gain these dice in combat And then you can roll them and when you roll them you will this character will move and different kind of things will give you different effects For example, if you end on this you will get money if you end on this the mom will go off and you will lose health You can choose your deity that you want to play with and he has different effects for example Zeus it does not activate bombs Well, that's not really interesting for us because we've got no bombs on the way We also have got Ares dice rolls minus one minimum one so we'll walk a little bit less and every time the aphrodite every time the dice is rolls there's a small chance to acquire minor health potion let's pick her and we're going to roll our dice and we're going to move for the very first time we get six as we move we gain experience to our player level this is extremely important as this gives us uh Sort of like a level cap for your characters. This means that if I'm a level 3, all of my characters can get upgraded up to level 3. Now let's move into the expedition panel. Alright, so this is where the combat goes. First of all, we get our expedition deck based on the cards that we have purchased. So this is going, this is all the cards we have. Here we've got the divine cards, which cost a certain amount of mana. It can cost, you can only see one that costs one mana here, but there are also ones that cost two and things like that. And they will differ depending on who we'll play with. We'll see it more in a moment. Next thing we gotta do is we gotta pick our deities. Currently we only have three deities, but as the game goes on, we're gonna gain more. So what we do on this channel is that we kind of rename characters. So we're going to do that over here as well. How dare you rename the gods? Who do you think you are? Well, that is a good point. Unknown angry voice. Please calm down. <laughs> we're going to give them nicknames. So Zeus is going to... Zeus, by the way, is sort of more like a magic based character. Uh, I'm going to call him Donald after one of my newest patrons. Thank you for joining my patron group and I hope you'll enjoy it. Next up we've got Ares who I'm going to call Xemex because Xemex usually goes with the melee warrior that's the story I gave him so Ares is now Xemex and Aphrodite is going to be me because I'm the only woman so <laughs> off we go. <laughs> Wouldn't give myself this one but okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the other female gods I would pick rather than this one, but you know what? We're just gonna go with this. Alright, um, you can switch their positions if you'd like over here. This is kind of important because this determines the position that they'll have in the... in the combat. Just gonna skip... okay. Tutorial wants us to level our people up, so we're gonna have to do it. We get this kind of experience dust that we're gonna use up to advance our people. So we're gonna advance everybody to level 2. This will increase their stats. Okay, before we can do it, we need to kind of switch people around because that's what the tutorial wants. Uh, I'm pretty happy with this, that's fine. Now, let me show you more of my characters. So we've got here Donald. Donald has, a, here you can see the divine abilities that he has. So if you sort of get the divine card, this is the ability we'll have on him. But what I want to show you instead is it's HP, AP, and SP, spell power hit points and action power. It's really important to look at this because when you have cards, the cards more often say something like you do AP damage. And for, so for example, if you have um, 
Zeus, otherwise known as Donald, is only going to do 6 damage. However, if you do the same thing with Ares, we get 54 damage. So it's really important to kind of utilize the right character. Now let's jump into combat. Uh, also here we have items. You can only use items here in the expedition map. You cannot use them in combat. So let's start this off with our very first combat. Now, only the person up here in the front can use the cards. That's super important. You cannot use it if you're elsewhere. You can switch people around however much you want. I can grab Zeus moving forward. But every time you do that, the enemy will gain an opportunity attack. So it's something to watch out for. All right. So uh, each uh, spell costs mana. You have the mana over here. And every time you end the turn, you draw only one additional card. Okay. Now, Zeus has a special ability that if he moves forward, if he didn't start in the front position, but he moved forward, he gains additional spell power, so we get more attack. So, for example, look at this. If I do this with Ares, it's only going to do 12 damage, as it says over here, so let me switch them up. Now, the enemy got an opportunity attack, but that's okay. Now, this does 303 damage, so I can insta-kill this enemy, which is really, really cool. We gain experience, which is good, and we can pick a new card. Deal AP times 3 damage to a random enemy, and deal AP times 0, 002 damage to the hero. This would be quite powerful in Ares, but it's gonna hurt him. Deal AP times 2 damage to an enemy and draw a card. Deal SP damage to target enemy that randomly jumps 4 times. Each jump produces. This is fantastic. This is a really good spell on Zeus or Donald. So we really like that. Next up, we're going to move towards the merchant where we could buy stuff. We could buy some new card. Ooh, discard your hand, draw five cards. AP damage. Deal AP damage to an enemy. Every time anticipate is played in this combat, the damage will increase by 10%. Well, so this would be good if you want to buy a lot of anticipate and then uh, play that off. You could do that. We also remove a card from our deck. We could remove... I don't like these. The plate all but one HP deal SP times two damage to all enemies, then move back to the back row. One trigger opportunity attack cannot be used under the 20% HP. We're gonna remove that. I'm not that big of a fan of that. So let's leave and we're gonna be done with that. Let's move to another combat. Now, uh, Zeus has very low HP, so we're gonna need to heal him up. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move Aphrodite here on top or myself. And this person that's here is kind of like in the top position in the combat. So we're going to start with her, and she's going to use her ability to heal Zeus. She's going to use heal this on him. Oh, I, I misclicked that. I was going to do it on Zeus, but I clicked on Ares instead. All right, uh, we're going to do this uh, one more time. And then we're going to switch our position with Ares. We actually did get hit for 12, but it's not that bad. Now Ares, when he moves into forward position, he gains shield. Which means that if the enemy is going to attack him now, he's going to kind of defend with his shield. Now he can do 54 damage and inflict fragile until next round. Go on. And that is it. It's it for 15, that's fine. We've got Revive. Revive target friendly deity with 30% HP remaining. Now I'm going to switch Zeus forward. I'm going to use the Chain Lightning. This does 152 damage. And it's going to do do the jumping four times. Every time with 50% less damage. Now what's important here also is that you can leave these dungeons at any time. Alright, so we could use Bloodlust, which would be... Uh, let's take Bloodlust. This is really good for Ares, and it gives us the draw additional card, which doesn't seem that important so far in what we played, but actually is really, really important. Because if you don't grab it, you... Once you sort of play the basic cards, you can really quickly end up in a situation where you can't play anything, which is a big, big problem. Drop damage. Let's just move... Do or die. Well... If we switch Zeus with her... 303 damage. This would insta-kill everyone. So we'll do... Well, actually, no. I thought it was gonna kill this guy as well, but that's okay. Either way, uh, Ares is now forward, so that's fine. We're gonna need to move our healer up ahead, I think. Actually, we could just insta-kill him. Let's do that. 
Alright, nice. Alright, now we've leveled them up, so they gain additional HP and action points. Which is really, really cool. They cannot level up further because we have the player cap. Impale deals AP damage to an enemy ignoring its shield or defense. Ah, uh, I don't know. We'll leave it. Now at this point, because we have the player cap, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually, actually we're gonna go to the event and then I'm going to leave. And I'm going to move to the back to the main map so I can increase my level cap so that my Aphrodite, my deities could level up more. You stumble upon two chests, both full of treasures. However, the powerful ancient spells will only let you open one of them. The better to gain experiences. Let's gain gold instead. Now we're going to leave this. And we have gained three dice so we can keep moving around in this area. Now we've got a bomb ahead, so let's use Donald, who will not trigger bombs. And we're going to roll our dice and see where we can move one two three four. good we didn't move on the bomb so that's fine all right what does aries do again oh it only rolls the dice so yeah we don't want that let's roll again one oh nice so we've got a experience dust and one last roll Ooh, if we could step on the altar, ah, we missed it. Okay, so never mind. Even if we just step on it, we actually get the bonus. We get a new deity, which is really, really cool. Let's see who we can get. Who is this? Hello. All right, we gained some extra dust, and we have gained Hermes. There's no one who restores divine points more efficiently than Hermes. He's a welcome addition to any team combination. Increased dice rolls. He seemed to have 80 uh, uh, spell power, 80 action points. Ooh. He might be a really good sort of like round character that can kind of do everything. I'm thinking about switching him for Zeus. We'll have to see what his special abilities are, but it seems quite cool. We're going to name him, or we're going to nickname him Juju's. And now let's do another expedition. Now we can pick our people into the expedition. Like, it's important that you can substitute them once you place them there. So that's pretty important. And you can see we get some new cards. So let's move on. And we're going to pick Ares. Deal AP damage to an enemy. There's 50% chance the divine cost will return. Oof. Divine points, by the way, is a mana. Because he's doing mostly action points. It's like, but let's try it. I want to try it off. We do need to have a healer. I don't think we can afford not having a healer. It would be an interesting... Now nah, let's, let's stick to the healer as well. Just going to do it without Donald this time around. Oh, look at this. I like the map here. All right. So we've got deal 80 damage to an enemy. There's 50% chance the divine points cost will be a return. Let's do it. Let's do it again. Oh, this time we get the points back. Ah, but now we can't do anything. So let's just move Ares forward. Oh, they do get a point. I was kind of hoping we wouldn't. But it's all right. Got that shield, which is good. Cleanse. 58 damage to an enemy, ignoring its attack. Can we try to move the other guy forward? No, I think we'll just do an attack. Just gonna wait a turn here. Let them have another hit. Ooh, he can regenerate. Interesting. Impale. Deal 50 damage to an enemy, ignoring its shield or, de or defense. Let's switch ourselves forward again. Do this. Okay, so this didn't actually give us any good points. I was kind of hoping we could get back the points, but yeah, no point in doing that. And the turn. Yeah, it keeps healing itself, which is good for us. But you can see the problem now. We only get one card per turn. So if you don't get a good card, it can be quite problematic. But I think it can be a good idea if you really have like a set of deities that are really focused. For example, if you have everybody who's really focused in action points, then it can be a really good idea to try to get a lot of the action points things because it's going to work on everyone. The AP damage to an enemy, then AP 0 0.8 damage whenever it takes an action. Oh yeah, we'll take that. That's good because you have two people on action points now. Let's move to the merchant. Gain 90% damage reduction before next round. Ooh, we have 5,000 gold. I'll grab that. We could remove some cards. 
We could remove some spell points. I don't want to remove the chain lightning. I will remove the do or die. I'm not a big fan of that. And restore 60% health. Restore 30% health. Let's grab that. We could use this to heal up Hermes. And let's go to another fight. This way we don't need to use our healer for that, which is quite nice. Alright. Good divine. Impale. Well. Oh, this is we gotta use this. Because this does then 40 and then 20 and then 10, so actually does quite a lot of damage after. Then we'll go with Divine. Alright, and we could do another one. And we're gonna switch them because Ares gets the shield and we got lucky enough that they didn't trigger an opportunity attack, which is quite nice. But we mostly help him because he's really, really strong. Let's give him shield points. And let's impale this so it can't hit us. We've got that shield, which is good. The shield, by the way, uh, disappears at the end of the turn. Let's... Uh, let's do not... Well, let's do regular attack. I don't want to use the shield wall. It doesn't seem that beneficial right now. Oof, we can only use regular impaling, which is not ideal. Defend, yeah, that's good. Discard your hand and draw five cards. Yes, please. 116. Let's switch. We'll do 172 damage here. And that is it. And then we're going to use this to finish them off. Now, Ares or Xamax has very low HP, but that's okay because we can either heal them up with items or we could just move towards next turn myself forward. And that would allow me to do some additional damage. Ooh, deal AP times 3 damage to random enemy? No. No, it's, it's fine. We're fine. All right, let's heal them up with... Major health potion. And we'll do a minor on these two. We've got so much money, we can really afford to get things like this. Not a problem. Let's do an event. Okay, we have two chests again. Let's gain experience dust this time. And we could try to level our people up. Let's do it. Kind of gonna level everybody up. This is gonna give us to level five, which is really cool because we should gain additional thing. Divine message. Maximum divine points increased by one if present in combat. Ooh, that is amazing. That is amazing. Also allows us to increase the action points and spell points. We definitely want that on Ares as well. And we've got so much action. Yeah, let's get them all to level 8 because we can. Actually, we don't have enough points. Okay. But that's good. That means it's worth fighting more in this particular map. A revive target friendly deity with 30% HP remaining. Now, resurrection spell... Uh, let's get uh, Resurrection Stone. This will allow us to heal somebody to full HP if they die. And let's do an elite fight. Ooh, we've got this big thing. I'm gonna say Zeus uh, or uh, Donald is really good for this, like, big fights. Alright, let's start with Divine on you. Deal. Then we'll do this. And finally, we can. I am not gonna switch them because I think the opportunity attack would be pretty high. That would have been 12 damage. It would have been 12 damage on top of our regular dam. Let's use a reset now. And we can get bleed. Let's use the Nimble Strikes first because they are by far the best. And four times. Oh, we don't have the energy for that. It's unfortunate. Do we want to switch? We're going to get that chi. Let's try it. Good. We get 16 block uh, defense against the attack here. And we could use 40. 
Let's switch them back. And we're going to start this off with this spell with the because it does the half damage four times, so that's really, really good. And then let's do a regular attack, which is going to give us 123 damage to the enemy. An additional, I believe, 74 damage when taking an action. It's that good hit, that's good. And blood loss should allow me to finish it off. Yeah, 246 damage, and it allows me to draw a card. Very, very nice. Yeah, you can see Aeris cannot level up more, but the other two are getting points. Draw a maximum of three divine cards. Oh, these did, that's good, because we like divine cards, so getting more of them is really, really good. And I think it's time to leave this, because we have already done what we could. What does, uh, again, oh, it just increased dice. So I was going to say, what does um, Juju's do, but yeah. Well, I think this is a good time to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments, and you can click on the right to watch some other roguelike deck builders like Dimension Rain or Iris and the Giant. And if you got this far, you clearly like the video, so please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!